Hey, what's up everyone? This is Scott, and on this uh, episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to start off by saying thank you. We are currently sitting at 217 subscribers, and as I had mentioned in last week's video, once we hit that, uh, there was going to be a giveaway. What we're going to do for the giveaway is there will be a poll um, on the right where you'll have a chance to vote on some items I, I've selected for the giveaway. By voting on that, you're selecting the prize. The way you're going to enter the giveaway is pretty simple, just by leaving a comment. That's going to be open for one week, and after the week passes, um, all the names of the people who've commented will go in a random randomizer, excuse me, and the winner will be chosen. So, thank you again. Um, I am thrilled to death that the channel is doing so well, and we keep getting more subs every day. So, with that being said, let's get on to the update. The Duncan Coral is doing a lot better since I moved it back. I moved it from, I had it in this area, but the heads were not opening up at all. Once I moved it back to this spot, as you can see, it opened up and it continues to open up more and more every day. So I'll, my intention is just basically hands off, leave it there, and hopefully it'll make it back to the way it was before all this happened. The Pagoda Coral, the same. Um, it's opening up also more and more since I put it back where it was. Now I know it's kind of close to the hammer, uh, but I'm just going to leave it there and see what happens as time goes by. Uh, Fungia plate, no growth again. Just no growth. Anyway, frog spawn still being hosted by the clowns. Um, they're not, I'm convinced they're not gonna leave that for whatever I put. I mean, I put the anemones close to them. They're not leaving it. She'll so show some interest to it, but they're hosting this and that's, that's final. So since the coral's not showing any ill effect from that, uh, I've kind of given up on trying to get an enemy for them to live in. Um, the front anemone is doing a lot better now and the back one has the problems. You can see right in the middle, it's kind of puffy where the mouth is and that's because when I fed it last week, uh, the fox face went over and grabbed the food out of it and bit it. Since then, that little ball in the center has kind of puffed up more and more. I don't know what the outcome will be. I'm planning on just trying to feed it uh, a small piece of mysis to see if it'll take it in. I know when I dropped some mysis in it um, after it was bit, it would take it, look like it was going to eat, and then it would be spit out. So um, we'll see how that progresses as the updates go come along. The torch is doing really well again. Um, I have no problems with that. I added a JBO pump, an RW4 to the tank to increase flow to this area where the digis are. The camera does not show it at all, but the red digi is producing more polyps and coloring up more. So hopefully that'll keep going and it'll return to what the way it was before all this happened. The base that I left there, you could see in the center um, where the skeleton has colored and uh, taken on algae, there are some spots coming through that and that's growth. So I'm hopeful that that will start growing into a new, um, into basically a, a whole new coral. So we'll just have to see how that turns out as time goes on. The Hollywood Stunner that's in the back on this rock has now touched, if I can show you that, it has touched the return area and is starting to curl under because now the mushroom rock is, is still as big as it was, but I went to a reef club meeting uh, last week and a member did show interest in some mushroom frags So my intention is to thin this out a little bit again and Take a pair of bone cutters and cut that off and move it into this area We'll see how that plays out 
The Palizoa Garden is getting more and more heads every day. The utter chaos has started to take off and really grow, and it sprouted that head right over there in the back. And every time you turn around, there's a new head popping up somewhere. So what I want to do with this is get a few more colorful Zoa frags or Pali frags and just give it a little bit more variety. Um, as I want to do with the whole tank, I'm kind of stuck on greens. So I want to mix it up a little bit and uh, give it a little bit more color. Fish wise, everybody's doing fine. The, um, if I can find them, the mollies are getting big. Um, there's one that's in the back there. They're starting to get bigger and bigger. Um, so everybody's happy and, and healthy as far as the fish are concerned. What I did do is down below, I've taken the uh, QT tank offline for now. I'm gonna rinse it, clean it out, sterilize it uh, because right now I don't plan on buying any fish, but <coughs> excuse me, if that happens, um, I'll just start it up again. I'm, I'm going to be doing a water change soon, so I can always just start it up with that. The grape calerpa, I did thin out and you can see it filled right back in again. So this is doing really well. And I also picked up at the club meeting another bowl of Chato just to throw in there and increase the pod population because it was infested with pods. So, well, that's pretty much it for this week's update. Like I said, leave a comment below to enter the contest. Don't forget to vote on the poll so we come to a prize. And uh, until next week, this is Scott. And I'll check you all out again around the tank.